Hi, this is the Saturday Review on a very busy weekend of action. Check out the videos in the Media Centre and on our YouTube channel to see free replays of the big races at Lingfield, Utoxta and the feature at Down Royal. These are the rest of the day's highlights and a great week at Cheltenham continued for the Twist and Davis clan when trainer Nigel and son Sam teamed up for an early double on the day at Utoxta. First up was Hunter's Lodge, fitted with first-time blinkers, who stormed to an all-the-way success in the three-mile novices handicap chase. And half an hour later, the well-backed Caliph Aramis in the black, white and yellow justified a 9-4 SP when winning the two-and-a-half-mile handicap hurdle. The six rods win capped an incredible run for the Twist and Davis yard, who began the week with no winners for the month, but ended it with two festival successes. Caliph Aramis goes on. Here's the last, allowed to run down the flight, a bit untidy, but in turn, Key to the West made a mess of it back in second. It's hard work in the conditions, but Caliph Aramis is forging clear, and across the car, treble for Nigel Twist and Davis. It's a double for Sun Sam. This week just gets better and better for the Twist and Davis team. And, the well and also at at the track, 72 Jolly Trezor de Bonte ran out a well-backed winner of the opening two-mile novices handicap hurdle. The ex-French trained six-year-old, now in the care of Richard Lee, made his stamina count in testing ground to reel in front-running Circus Star. That circus Star grinding him down. Trezor de Bonte jumps on at the last. Goes a length and a half clear. Circus Star fighting on bravely. But now Trezor de Bonte has his measure. Post will deliver. And Trezor de Bonte forges away close home to win the opener on Midlands National Day. Circus Star up for second. Another festival winning trainer, Rebecca Curtis, was among the winners at Foss Lass. A day after seeing at Fisher's Cross win the Albert Bartlett, her exciting youngster Bob Ford had no problems when running out a comfortable winner of the three-mile novices hurdle under Aidan Coleman. The former Irish point-to-pointer is now two from two over hurdles. Reduce the revs going into this final flight, even though he is a furlong clear of his only other rival. Down towards the final flight now, Bob Ford comes to it. And the cheer tells the story. Bob Ford, he may have overraced and was very keen in the early stages, but he's absolutely run his opposition into total and utter submission. Bob Ford, now a perfect two out of two here at Foes Lass and wins for Aidan Coleman, Aidan's 80th of the season. And she made it a double on the day when the J.P. McManus owned Scotia Fontaine got back to winning ways under Patrick Corbett in the two mile four handicap hurdle. The seven-year-old returned an easy-to-back four-to-one shot. Down Cuckoo made a mistake, rallying William Hogarth in third. Rigidity is in fourth. Radmore's Revenge is in fifth. But racing up towards the line, here's another winner for Rebecca Curtis. Two on the day. A Scott of Fontaine wins for Patrick Corbett. Tight for second. The rallying William Hogarth made... And the local trainer was narrowly denied a hat-trick when Ben Eyre in the stripes failed to give weight to Mountainous in the feature three-mile handicap chase. The Richard Lee trained winner survived a steward's inquiry, having wandered across the runner-up on the run into the final fence. Mountainous has now won three times at the Welsh track, and that was the middle leg of a treble on the day for jockey Michal Nolan. Place and he nearly put Ben Eyre through the wing, but Mountainous is over in front and he's clear by two. Ben Eyre is back in second, trying to rally just one more time. Mountainous is finding nothing on the run in, and Ben Eyre still has a chance. 70 yards to go. Mountainous is all out. Mountainous to win. Over in Ireland, there were few easier winners than 7-2 on-shot Byerly Babe, who took the two-mile three mare's hurdle at Limerick. The J.P. McManus-owned winner is now likely to step up to Grade 1 company at Fairy House over Easter. Tudor Fashion on the outside trying to get involved as they come towards the second last flight. In the centre, it's Barley Babe and Philip Enright who come through to join issue with Casablanca Lily, the long-time leader than Tudor Fashion. At the final flight, and it is Barley Babe who's now picked it up narrowly from Casablanca Lily and Tudor Fashion on the near side, but it's Barley Babe. It's looking very easy indeed. She will exit her maiden here with an easy demonstration. And at Down Royal, favourite Shinrock Paddy was pulled up in the three-mile beginner's chase, leaving the way clear for four-to-one chance Seriatim in the start cap. The Andrew Thornton-ridden eight-year-old has now won a point-to-point, -point, hurdle and a chase.
a little awkward in front. 40 for Tom has a short run in to catch him. Surrey Adam by a length and a half to two as they go up towards the line. He picks up again, he wins well. Surrey Adam is going to beat 40 for Tom. Good battle for third. That'll go to Forrest. And finally, Lingfield staged its biggest all weather card of the season on Saturday. The Winter Derby and the listed races are on our YouTube channel. But the other big race of the day, a 19 grand one mile handicap, went to the Thomas Brown ridden Andrew Balding train Benzane in the green and red, who got up late to win on his first start of the campaign. The four year old returned at 8 to 1. Racing down towards the final furlong, Grey Mirage with the lead of a length. Over in second, Bronze Prince, Dubai Dynamo, then Ben Zano and George Guru. Grey Mirage has still got the leader with half a furlong to go. Running on strongly, Ben Zano down the outside. Ben Zano over the top of Grey Mirage. Ben Zano has won it from the late running swing alone. Grey Mirage was worried out of it. He was in third, then Dubai Dynamo in front of Bronze Prince and George.